Three, two, four, five, one, two, three. All right. I've always got bad postures. This is Ask Flan. You ready? Yeah. We got a lot of questions. We do? Yeah. Who was your favorite underappreciated Giants player? So many of them came up and had just great moments, but uh, Andres Torres, I know he's appreciated now, but when he first came up, he was just trying to make the club and just trying to survive every day and to watch uh, him go about his business and seize an opportunity that was given to him. And uh, I'm gonna have to go with Jungo, as we called him. If you had to pick a favorite memory from one of your championship runs, what would it be? Oh, that's always tough. Yeah, but uh, really the last day of the 2010 season when we had to beat the San Diego Padres. Uh, Boach and I both, when we first came up here, we had a lot of people yelling, go back to San Diego. And then when we went down to San Diego, we had a lot of people going, you guys are traitors. So we were like men without an island to go no to. Home. We had no home. And after that game, we became giants. How do you get your lower body more involved in your swing? First of all, you gotta get balanced on, yeah. on both legs. Uh, you might want to get into a little bit of a crouch. The best thing to do is a cool little exercise. Just when you're sitting around the room, I don't know. You just start here and pivot. Start here and pivot. Just keep doing that and doing that all night long until you feel it. <laughs> normally, there's not, normally there's not someone sitting right here when you <laughs> With, do that. And cords hooked up to it. <laughs> Richie's over there. Ask him. <laughs> Have you ever taken part in a past life regression or a sensory deprivation tank session. Have you ever done that? Uh, I have not, but we did go to Philadelphia one year and we knew they had those tanks uh, with the salt, I think. The ones you get in like the old movie Altered States is when we first saw it. Yeah. And John Cruck did get in there, but John was giant and heavy and overweight at the time and not really healthy. And the salt saline combination yeah. Didn't keep him up, didn't float him up. Oh, no. he, he went right down to the bottom. I would love to though. Does Bochi drink more wine after a win or a loss? Uh, it's pretty much the same. You know, the thing about San Francisco, you get great wines up here and he loves the wine country. He's met a lot of people out there. So they send him a lot of wine. What I used to do is when he would go to that press conference, cause he'd be, be gone for about five, six, eight minutes. I would sprint through uh, the coach's room into the office of the manager and grab some of his wine and bring it back for the coaches. And then they remodeled the whole uh, coach's office and his office and they, he put a, a wall in between it so I couldn't even, there was no way to get to his office. He built a wall. He built he, a wall to keep the, the hyena is what he called me out. So he was the he was the first to build a wall. You know, you hear a lot about building the wall. He Bochi was the first. He, he was the first to build the wall. <laughs> if you really want the best wine for the money, for the taste, for the dollar, is Richer really is oh, Red yeah. Stitch label. Red Stitch wine. It's very really delicious. Good. Worth every penny. This segment's brought to you by Yeah. Red Stitch wine. <laughs> Rich, that's forty five dollars. <laughs> As owner of the Giants, how do you fix this? So apparently you have ownership of the team now, but how, how do you fix where they're at right now? Well, at the moment, uh, with the contracts that are on the books and the, and the team that's put together, it's not a quick fix. You can't just, you know, people say rebuild, rebuild. Well, first of all, all those years that you're winning championships, you're drafting last. There's not a magic button. You win three world championships, it does take a little bit of uh, of rebuilding and time to get back to win another one. Final one here from Fareed NBCS. What's more of a grind? 162 games as a coach or, you know, 70 or 80 as an analyst here in studio? Well, uh, as a coach, this is a great wow. gig. Uh, <laughs> this is a great gig. Uh, this is my 27th straight day though. And I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little winded. I'm a little tired. So I got three shows oh. next week. I play uh, Chico June 8th, Novato June 9th, uh, Santa Cruz June 10th, timflannery.com. Love harder. Love harder. All the money goes to our uh, anti-violence, anti-bullying uh, program. It's our nonprofit when we started helping Brian Stowe. You don't mind if I keep it? Yeah, you can keep it. Keep it. Check it out. They were, that was pretty easy, right? Ask Flan. Uh, yeah, I was a little concerned. <laughs> I love working with him.
Ask Flan. Uh. Thanks, Tim.